I'm going to say it again. Lust, gluttony, greed, sloth, wrath, envy, or pride. We'll start with the ladies first this time. Start over there. Oh. That's cold. That's, That's cold. That's cold. I have mine. Yeah, go ahead. Pride. Pride? Yes. Pride will ruin you. If you cannot put your pride aside, stay mm. away from me. Yes. Now, I, I, I always try to say that people don't bring up pride the most, but it's the most uh, important because pride feeds into the other ones, in my opinion. It's mm. really if you're prideful, you're going to be greedy. You're going to you're going to be gluttonous. You're going to do certain things because you're prideful so much. You know, mm -hmm. so I think pride, pride is one away. of the worst one. Yeah. So is the question uh, which one resonates with you the most? She didn't say which one resonated with her because that's not because I'm guessing you're not prideful. like you don't like pride. Which one of them, like, but if you don't resonate with a sin because you're not being sinful right now, then that's fine, obviously. I right? Mean, you're I not mean, resonating with anyone. Other any than of... that, I mean, I could say sloth just because I sleep a lazy. lot on my time off, but that's really <laughs> it. <laughs> that's not a bad one. Yeah, we're all we're all lazy as hell today. We're privileged <laughs> as hell. Why not? <laughs> what about you, though? Do you have a good, one of those that you think resonates with you at all? Would you read them again, please? Lust, gluttony, greed, sloth, wrath, envy, or pride. I'll, I'll say sloth right now because, again, since I'm at this phase of my life of retirement, I, sometimes I you don't, don't want to do. Wanna do anything. Yeah, that's a good – once again, that's a good one to have if you're going to have one of these. I think it's one of the best. What about you? Okay, I'll, I'll go with pride as well. I could, I could kill an ego or two off some days. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'll yeah. go with pride. Yeah, well, I mean, it's it's the one that most of us have today because of social media and shit. We all are prideful. Yeah. What about you? Uh, which one of those? Um. Sloth used to be mine. Uh, I say a couple of years ago when I was like 19, but this is genuinely because I didn't know what I wanted to do. But um, I say just recently I got rid of that pride thing. It was, you know, kind of holding me down. And I had to just man up and be like, man, look, I don't need this right now. I need to figure out what's really for me, what I want to do. Being humble is going to get you further in life than being prideful. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, man? Um, I would say lust. <laughs> <laughs> at least you're being honest man at least you're being honest about it now, i feel like lust is probably one that most people like deep down if you're a single person you're probably living some type of lustful life but most people i'm not saying y'all are but most people are are probably doing it but nobody's gonna brag about it. i mean guys will brag about it all day long <laughs> um so now i want to know did y'all grow up in a two-parent household and if you didn't i want to know which parent raised you the mom or the dad uh we'll start with you man <sighs> um I grew up with my mom. My dad wasn't around like that um, due to legal reasons, but I grew up with my mom and I grew up with a house full of women. So I kind of, that, that kind of keep me in my humble state. Like just some things is better left unsaid, regardless if you're right or wrong, you ain't going to win that argument. So. Bro, I'm the same as you. I, I grew up with four sisters and I had a mom and a stepmom. Like I had lots of women in my life all the time. And I feel like that's why I do so good with women is because I understand them yeah, very damn well. Like, I understand. <laughs> and, it, and that's the crazy part. Like, I try to, like, like my female friends, I don't have many, but the ones that I do, I try to tell them that just because I understand how you feel doesn't mean I agree. Like, yeah. it's like I can understand the way you feel that way, but sometimes your reaction is just – it's not needed, really. You know, my reaction is the best reaction, honestly, sometimes. So, yep. facts. facts. Very true, man. So, for you, uh, did you grow up in a two-parent household? And if not, was it mom or dad? So I grew up half of my life with just my mom in the house. Um, like I still talk to my dad, associated with my dad, but it's primarily my mom. And then my mom got remarried. So it was my mom and my stepfather. Okay. Is he like, uh, like uh, what, what age were you when your stepfather came in? 13 or 14. Okay. So is he like a dad to you, you would say? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's and the time whenever it, it, it's definitely influencing yeah. more of a dad than my, my real dad is still like, he's still present in my life. He reaches out, he tries to, you know, make up for the losses. Uh, but yeah, my stepdad treats me just as, the same as, uh, my half brother. It's yeah. real. No, I, I have a really awesome stepdad too, man. Uh, so for you, what were you in a two parent household or was it a single parent? I was in a single parent household raised primarily by my mom. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, she did a great job because you ended up, you know, being as smart as you are and like kind of red pilled and stuff. She did a really good job by herself. Would you say that? Or do you think that it was more of like a, it was a negative job, but you learned from the negatives? I say it was a mixed bag, okay. you know, um, because my, it was tough, you know, very tough. My mom had me at 17. So by the time she was 19, she had two children. So I will say that it was very tough. But I will say I'm grateful for the man that was in her life, which was my grandfather. So even though 
you know, there's some things that she could have done better. She, she did have a stabilizing force, which was my grandfather. So that helped to guide us. But, you know, I think the bottom line up front is that I wanted more. And I think that's very important because no matter what your circumstances, you can desire to have more. And I and I wanted that. I think a, a negative or a hard background sometimes can teach you what you really want. You know, it really like uh, I always say that if you're born middle class, you have to fall to lower class for you to appreciate to make it up to the upper class. And then if you're born lower class, you have to see middle and upper class for you to get the inspiration to go to it. And uh, it's it's a really weird backwards dynamic. But, yeah, a lot of lower class people make it because they grew up and saw so much negative stuff that they're like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Yep. <laughs> All right, and for you, two parent household or single parent? Two parent household. And also we were very close with um, my mom's side of the family. So I almost had three parents growing up because my maternal grandmother was like a third parent. Both my parents worked, so they would drop me off super early at my grandma's house, and I would go to the schools in her district, um, and she would take me to and from school. She was the stay-at-home parent while my parents were working. That's the best thing for for uh, for anybody having kids. You've got to have a parent around you mm -hmm. to like be the grandparent always around. Yep. What about you? Two parent or single? So I had something similar to your dynamic. Uh, my mom. I was uh, raised by my mom primarily. Uh, my dad was in my life um and uh mostly raised by my grandparents like because both my parents worked so when i would live with my dad i would be with my grandma <laughs> and live with my mom i'd be with my grandma so mm -hmm. okay yeah. no that's good but you know what they say about people raised by their grandparents what They're the sweetest kindest people you will ever meet mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. yes i've never heard that but i i i, I, I <laughs> I have a theory of why, though, that's, like, a big deal. So I really don't like how everything is today when it comes to, like, parents. I think parents neglect their kids really easily today because they're all working 40 hours a week. Yeah. Both parents have to work in every household. Just because the dollar is so devalued, like, it's pushed everybody into working way more. And those kids are being raised by iPads, raised by the Internet, you know, and all this stuff. But back in the day, like, we look back a 1,000 years ago, like, say, in the plains of Oklahoma, like, when, like, Indians, like, Native Americans and stuff like that, they – the way that they did it was the guys would go and hunt in the morning or go do certain things. The women would be sewing and doing stuff together. Like they would be social doing their stuff. The guys would be social doing their thing. They would come together at night and eat. And, but during the daytime when the mom and dad were gone doing whatever it was, uh, the grandparents were the ones watching all the kids. Yeah. And what are grandparents? They're always more patient. They're always yes. more understanding. That's when it, when you're a new parent, you can't handle a lot of the stresses, but a grandparent has been through it all. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, I feel like a, the big reason why we're out of whack today is because it's not like that dynamic that our ancestors had for thousands of years. Yeah. Like it, it's, it's super weird for us to like have to send our kids to daycare and stuff. Like it, it sucks. True. Well, and then if I could say something too on that, like the grandparents love, they have so much love for their children, much less the child of their children too. True. And that's a big thing too, is making sure you get enough enrichment mm -hmm. as a child too. And that is a big thing. Not, not, you know, saying anything about people who weren't raised by their grandparents or anything like that. But I think that's a definite benefit to having them around, too. Yeah. I've never thought about it sure. that much. But yeah. now you are convincing me yeah. not only is it good for somebody to come from a good home, but also come from a home with grandparents around, yeah. too. Yep, that that's true. It helps a lot. Yep. Yeah, it just yeah. helps a lot. It's a little sprinkle. 